Hey everyone, this is Glenn Curtis here for your week 3 predictions on the NFL 2010 season. Just to give you a quick recap of uh, last week, I went 9-7, and seven, a lot better than I did first week, and for a uh, season total of 16-16, and 16, so I'm right at half, so it's looking good. Alright, let's get on to this week. We got all Sunday and Monday games. I'm going to start off with taking the Tennessee Titans over the New York Giants. It's going to be a close game. We got a lot of close games this week, but uh, this one in particular, I'm thinking it's going to be by field goal, maybe a touchdown max. Just liking Tennessee a bit in this one. After that, I'm going to take the Kansas City Chiefs over the San Francisco 49ers. I liked San Fran last week, but they're you know they're still looking. They still have a lot of work to do, and this is in Kansas City, so we'll see how well uh, San Fran can cope with that. Um, and then take uh, Houston Texans over the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys aren't. They're just showing how how weak they are. They're just they keep making mistake after mistake. And Houston, uh, like I said before, Houston's going to be a big team this year. Definitely a wild card, if not a division leader at the end of the season. After that, I'm going to take the New England Patriots over the Buffalo Bills. Uh, there's not much to say there. New England's having a good season, like uh, a lot of people should have expected, and Buffalo is probably couldn't be having a worse season. Moving on, I'm going to take the Baltimore Ravens over the Cleveland Browns. Easy pick. Cleveland, I'm waiting for them to wow me with that. I don't think that's even going to happen this year. Now I'm going to take the uh, Minnesota Vikings over the Detroit Lions. I was impressed with how well the Lions did against the Eagles last week, but I uh, don't think that's going to be enough to overtake the Vikings. Maybe if Favre throws another three interceptions, it might work, but it's not likely. After that, this is, a lot of, this is probably going to shock a lot of you, um, but I'm going to take the Atlanta Falcons over the New Orleans Saints in a very, very close game. I don't like how how narrow of the wins that the uh, Saints have had the past two weeks. Sure, they are showing that they are still winners, but uh, the way Atlanta dominated the Cardinals last week, you know, I liked it, and they didn't lose by much to the Steelers, who are also showing that that they're a good team. Moving on, I'm going to take the Pittsburgh Steelers over the Tampa Bay Bucks. Uh, the Bucks are going to get the first uh, their first loss. You know, a lot of people are surprised that they're 2-0, but you have to look at the teams that they've played. So Pittsburgh should be should easily be able to hand them their first loss. After that, I'm going to take the uh, Cincinnati Bengals over the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Carolina's still looking like a still a poor team. I got nothing. I got nothing for them right now. And Cincinnati, they're uh, they're they're going to keep going. They're going to keep playing to Batman and Robin, and their defense is going to keep holding up. After that, I'm going to take the Washington Redskins over the St. Louis Rams. Uh, Sam Bradford, he's he's getting there, but there's no way he's going to be able to uh, overdo what uh, Donovan McNabb can do in that game. After that, I'm going to take the Philadelphia Eagles over the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now that uh, the Eagles have got their quarterback situation uh, all sorted out, they should be able to focus on plays and strategies concretely now. Uh, after that, I'm going to take the Indianapolis Colts over the Denver Broncos. Uh, uh, not much for me to say here. Probably won't be a big win, but it probably won't be a close game either. So I'm going to take the favorite Colts in that one. After that, I'm going to take the Arizona Cardinals over the Oakland Raiders. Both poor teams. I'm just picking the, the better of the two evils on that one. After that, I'm going to take the San Diego Chargers over the uh, Seattle Seahawks. Shouldn't have picked against the Chargers last week, and they're showing that they are still a good team. So I don't think Seattle's going to be able to mount much of uh, a game against against them. Our final Sunday night game, I'm going to I'm going to take, and this comes shocking to a lot of you too. I'm going to take the Miami Dolphins over the New York Jets. I know, yeah, Drell Revis isn't playing. I liked I liked what I saw out of the Dolphins against the Vikings last week. So. I'm going to take the Dolphins over the Jets in a close game. Like I said before in the first game, either a field goal or a touchdown. And for our Monday night game, I am going to take the Green Bay Packers over the Chicago Bears. Big divisional game for these two, and uh, Green Bay should continue to show that they are a playoff-bound team. All right, everyone, that's uh, all my picks for Week 3. If you uh, if you like if you like my picks, you know, give me a thumbs up below uh, if you want to hear more. Uh, don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button above and uh, leave a comment down below if you uh, have any insight or any tips for me. All right, and we'll see you guys next week. Have a good one.